Welcome Cancer, welcome to your reading. Um, I'm doing your weekly love message for the week of January 17th. Um, I hope you're well Cancer, wherever you are. Um, so yeah, let's dive in straight and see what the message is for you from your person, Cancer, please tear off the spirit, show me the energy. Four of Swords, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, and Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Your person is taking a little break, but they are very passionate about you with this Queen of Wands, and um, They have feelings for you, King of Cups, but I want they want to take it slowly, I feel. Um, also, they see you as someone really lovable, really loving, really connected to um, yourself and your emotions. Um, and also very confident, very creative, very sexy, very handsome. Um, but I'm going to read it as their energy. And so, yes, they are... Fe they have feelings, very warm feelings for you in their heart. The King of Cups. Um will represent their loving feelings and a very passionate drive towards you with this Queen of Wands, Cancer. But they do want to take it easy. They want to take step at a time with the Knight of Wands, um, the slowest knight. They will be taking it easy. And at the moment, I don't think they are communicating much with this Four of Swords. Um, they are relaxing in some countries there's holiday time so perhaps they just taking it easy um, and also uh, I feel that your person they do it um, they want to approach it really slowly and really like carefully. They want to get to know you. They want to go out with you and spend time with you just to make sure that they, um, you know who they are and they are getting to know you better as well. So there's nothing wrong with that um, slow and steady approach. Okay. Let's see more. How does this person feel about cancer? What are their feelings? A bit more. They do have feelings. They are not showing King of Cups. It's usually that um, represents a person that doesn't really, is really connected to emotions, but doesn't display them clearly or easily. We have Ace here as well. We've got Ten of Wands, the Emperor, Seven of Cups, and the World. Well, they feel tired, confused, but they um, they will, they are planning something for this connection with this Emperor. Okay. <clears throat> um. They have 
an outlook, a long-term outlook for this connection with the Emperor. But as I said, they'll be planning probably very carefully with this Knight of Pentacles. Um, they come across as someone really reliable, really um, someone who thinks before they do something, someone who thinks before they say something. Um, with this wheel, I feel that the um, whatever it was in their life here, they um, that they've moved on, that you know they have collected some sort of experience, some sort of baggage. Um, they do feel a little bit. Perhaps that planning, that careful planning, Ten of Wands and Nine uh, and the Emperor, that careful planning, that um, strategizing, that looking at something long term, it's making them feel a little bit um, overwhelmed and tired. This person has has definitely collected everything that she has and they, she's just changing something. She's changing direction. She's going somewhere else. Something was too difficult. <clears throat> so perhaps um, your person that appears here as a very careful planner someone who will take a step at a time, perhaps this is what um, your person is going to change. There is a confusion here as well. Maybe they are confused about how to go about this connection, whether to take it slow, whether to contact you and tell you anything that everything that they would like to tell you. And as I said, they, they are very passionate about you and they have feelings, they have um, romantic feelings for you, Cancer. <clears throat> they are definitely a person that you could uh, <clears throat> marry. Emperor and um, Wheel of Fortune. They are definitely appearing as um, someone that is definitely fated in this, uh, in your connection. Your, you getting together, you getting to know each other isn't by accident. Um, you were supposed to meet. They want stability, but perhaps going about this long-term uh, connection um, <clears throat> in this strategic and slow way, um, it's just making them confused. Let's take more. It feels to them as this would that this is a bit too good to be truth as well with this confusion and um, ten of uh, and the wheel of fortune. <clears throat> The 
there is another, another message that I'm getting as well <clears throat> for some of you this person is taking it slowly simply because um, the idea of <clears throat> excuse me I can't talk the idea of long-term connection committed connection at this stage just feels a little bit too much for them with this ten of wands and um, quite frankly as well the idea of the fact that you guys met uh, is fated also f feels quite uh, foreign to them like they're not really um, they're not really trusting these hints they are confused about this um, this energy that feels fated, you know, um, you might be dealing with Aries strongly here, Cancer. Two of Pentacles. Just lost two cards, but they didn't flick, so I will not take them. Yes, the more I look at these energies, Cancer, the more I feel that. I think your person, um, they have feelings for you, they're really attracted to you, but there is a reason why they are in the Four of Swords energy, meaning they're just um, internalizing these emotions, this, this um, desire that they have for you. <clears throat> because at this stage, <clears throat> excuse me, wow, maybe this stage, um, at this stage, the idea of a long-term connection and the fact that this is, this feels, this feels really good, this feels really as if you met at the right time, but it's just making them feel like, is it really? Um, I don't know about that. There is not much swords here apart from this, but I feel your person is... That's the thinking process. Cancer, okay. Okay, we've got some more here. Oh. We do have a Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Fool. So the Queen of Swords will definitely, the person will definitely say something, communicate, they'll, and they'll definitely think of how they feel. Um, the Fool, to me, the Two of Pentacles, well, they've been it looks like they are considering, they have been thinking here a lot, right? We have um, four of swords, two of wands. They've been back and forth debating how, how to go about this new connection in their life. And I feel they are deciding to to try something, to 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 give it a go, to invest in it, right? To get to know you, to allow for these emotions that they have inside for you, to recognize the desire that they feel for you. Um, but as I said, they are not too sure that they want to straight away say yes. This is meant to be a long. Term connection 
mm, engagement, marriage, family, etc. Um, And we have, there we go, we do have a um, couple of King of Wands and a Queen of Wands here. So they, there is an energetic match. They see you as an, a, a match, okay? For cancer. I feel as you get to know each other more, Aries comes across strongly here. I feel your person will, uh, with this King of Wands, not only that your person will say and communicate that they like you, that they have feelings for you, that they wish to spend more time, they're not going to be yet rushing. The idea of long-term connection, relationship, it's still too early for them. This feeling of this connection to be fated, this, feels for them a little bit. Um, is that right? They're questioning with this um, Seven of Cups. They feel a little bit so in here, they, they look at this, they feel it, they see you, they... Um, they see that there is an, a match here, but they are going to take it easy, they're not going to rush. And they will show you with this King of Wands, they will talk to you, and I love, like the way they used to uh, face to face. This is a very nice energy to me. It tells me that you will have a good communication with this person and quite clear, quite honest, to the point, um, which probably will allow for this connection to take off. Um, and yes, with the full, um, it tells me that they are interested in really giving it a go, um, but slowly, slowly. I love that. Cancer. Um, I'm going to pull just one oracle message for you for that week. Just one message, please. This one. Enlightenment. So you are learning. I think this is also a message for your person. Learning, rediscovering um, how, you know, how we feel about people, how we feel about things, how we, the gut feeling um, that we all get. Um, I feel your person is starting to kind of tune in to them, their own gut feeling here. But that, that you know, ten of ones and an emperor, the, the real slowness in um, in the idea of building a long term connection. It's quite understandable to me. Especially if you just met someone. Where are you? Enlightenment. Vast galaxy. Enlightenment occurs when one steps out. Excuse me. Cancer. Of the confines of an ordinary definition of self and expands into a greater awareness of the self within the universe. In other words, perspective, putting our own life in a perspective, greater perspective. 
you are now reaching into the invisible realm of spirit and connecting with what you cannot see. Forces beneath the surface are supporting you on your journey. Have faith in yourself. You are so much more than you believe yourself to be. Have patience that there is a plan unfolding. The sky is the, sky is the limit. This card represents enlightenment and signals that you are entering into a time of expansive transformation in a luminous and remarkable way. Trust that the changes ahead are for the greatest good. For most, certainly, they are. Um, I kind of feel that this, this is actually a message for your person. <laughs> to, um, if they are careful, careful about investing their emotions into you and the connection between you, um, then I feel trusting on feelings and basically looking at it from a perspective of a whole life. Um, will help to be more optimistic and not to worry too much about um, little things. Sagittarius, excuse me, Cancer. You might need to check Sagittarius re reading or you are dealing with Sagittarius. We do have some fire here. Um, Cancer, thank you for watching. Give me thumbs up if you enjoyed this reading or if it resonates. Drop me a comment if this feels as if it's your story um, or part of it. Subscribe to my channel. Um, stay safe and goodbye for now.